Hey, how's it going guys? I know it's been uh, at least one or two days since I last did a vlog. Apologies, uh, I guess. I am trying to get back into the habit of doing these daily, but I don't know, is it really that big of a deal if I do them like every other day? Uh, and anyway, uh, yeah, I have gone back to work full time on the Harry Potter video. Last week, pretty much I spent an entire week working on, I guess not last week, it was the week before last week, on the George Watsky music video, which I think is gonna go up soon, sometime this week, definitely, um, if not today or tomorrow. And it was one of those things that's like, not particularly proud of the effects that went in that video, just because they're, they're inherently simple, kind of cliche, and not really mind-blowing, so they're obviously, they're, they're obviously effects. It's like you look at him like, yeah, that's an effect. That guy just got a drumstick stabbed through his head. Of course that's an effect. And, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, no, now I'm back to working full-time on the Omen video, and work is going good on that. I, made, I recently made a decision, I think on Friday, that... I am going to export this video at 4K resolution, which is IMAX resolution, which is extreme overkill for YouTube. But there's a couple reasons why I'm doing it. For one, it's to enter a contest that Red is throwing. If you look Red contests, if you Google that, they, uh, they're launching a short film contest and the submissions for that, it, uh, the deadline, I think, is the end of October, October 31st, but one of the requirements for it is that whatever you submit has to be in 4K resolution, which, if you're not familiar with what 4K is, this is like, say, 1080p, well, kind of holding my, imagine like this is like 1080p. It's a lot, it's four times larger than that because it's twice the width and twice the height as 1080p. 1920 by 1080 is 1080p, and I think uh, 4K is it's about 4,000 by 2,000. So literally, <laughs> 4K resolution is about as tall as 1080p is wide, and it's 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 ridiculously large. YouTube does support it, but it's not very well supported. And then there's the the issue of you know no one actually has 4K displays to watch it at the proper resolution. Um, even cinemas don't really have 4K projectors. Uh, Red itself only has like two or three. Uh, but it's going to be a big thing in the next two, three years. And so, which brings me to issue number two, why I'm doing it is to say that I did it. <laughs> Literally, it, it comes down to it being a marketing ploy, essentially, is that I'm going to export it at 4K just to say that it's 4K. Like if, I'm, if I ever do like an interview about the video or whatever, It'd be like, yeah, it's at 4K, just cause. Um, so you can watch it at 4K. And for the most part, it shouldn't be that much more difficult to do than exporting at 1080p. I'm gonna have to export a 1080p file anyway. But, cause my entire timeline is actually a 5K timeline. It's like 4,800 by almost 3,000 <laughs> is the resolution I'm working with, which is several times larger than 1080p. I didn't scale it down to 1080p when working in it, so that was just because it was the first time I ever worked with red footage, and I just started dropping it and started editing. I was like, hey, this is great. And then I realized later, I was like, oh, I should have resized it first, but I already edited the whole thing. At any rate, um, the only thing that really, that'll really really impact are my effect shots, because I've been exporting all my effect shots at 1080p. But the footage and all those effects shots are still 5K footage. So I think what I'll end up doing is actually just exporting all my effect shots at 4K resolution. And all the effects, if they're digital effects, like uh, all the little particle stuff, that will just scale upwards and be a proper resolution when I export it. But things like using stock footage, all the smoke elements, the shadow elements, all that will be at, I'll, I'm not going to export something like that from 30s Max at 4K resolution because that's absurd. So I'll just scale those up to 4K. So those elements, smoke elements, muzzle flare, magic flare elements, all those will be scaled up. And I'm hoping the bicubic sampling in After Effects will be able to preserve the majority of the detail when I up-res it. <clears throat> so I think that'll be cool. Um, 
It'll literally be IMAX. <laughs> this, okay, <laughs> not only am I doing over 100 effect shots for this 10 minute short film, it's gonna be at IMAX resolution, which is ridiculous. That's the kind of resolution that even movie studios are like, yeah, no. No, why would we do that? That's ridiculous, that's overkill. So here I am doing it. But if I do win the red contest, if I get first place, I get a red epic camera, a set of lenses, and pretty much every accessory that they make. That's worth it on its own. Second place, I forget what second place gets, but it's almost as good as that. And third place gets an entire Scarlet suite of like stuff. So if I at least hit first, second, or third place with this film, I get one of those things. And that's, that's entirely worth it on its own. On top of, you know, going to a movie theater and having the actual film sh projected at 4K resolution in IMAX quality on an IMAX screen. That would be sick. <sighs> but we'll see. Um, yeah, so what did I do yesterday? I went airsofting yesterday with uh, the guys for LAN party. It was a lot of fun. I actually did really, really well yesterday. Uh, you might notice I have a bit of a battle scar right here. I got shot in the neck. That hurt. Uh, I got shot in the back of the hand. That's actually just a scab at this point. All the redness and swelling has gone away. I got shot in the side of the finger. That hurt. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. And like all up down my arm uh, and whatnot. All over my back, arms, legs. That's why airsoft is so much fun because it's like, it does. You scared me! Oh my god! <laughs> So sneaky. That literally scared me. I was like, I thought you saw me jumping in the background. I didn't earlier. see you on my left side. I just saw you when you popped up right here. No, I totally missed you until you're like right there. Oh, and so then we're at dinner last night eating, and I I went through one of the most oh. painful experiences yeah. I've ever gone through. I bit my tongue, and everyone's bitten their tongue, bitten their cheeks, or whatever. But I bit it really badly. <laughs> And to the point for like 15 seconds, I was paralyzed, like straight up, just like could not do anything. And she's alarmed because I'm not responding. And then I finally opened my mouth and she gasped because apparently my tongue was just like covered in blood. And this was last night. Like I actually cut like my tongue open. <laughs> just, yeah, so that hurt. And I, was, I basically then spent another five minutes just like cleaning up all the blood with napkins and stuff <laughs> while I'm trying to eat some chicken wings. So that was great. Um, and then, of course, about five minutes after that, I bit my lip really badly, and that drew blood. So I was just like, wow, what a day for injuries. <sighs> yeah, it was ridiculous, but it was a lot of fun. Um, so you'll actually be seeing me playing Airsoft uh, on, if you follow the Node channel, the LAN party, uh, videos that those guys make. I'll be featured in that because I actually did really well. One match we played, I got the entire other team out in less than a minute, all by myself. I sur I su surrendering is when like you have an airsoft gun and you're like too close to shoot them because it hurts. So you say surrender and they're like, ah, oh, okay, you got me. Um, so I surrendered both Sam and then I surrendered Nico within about 15 seconds of each other. And then I ran around and I shot D and Clint to end the game, <laughs> literally in less than a minute. So that was cool. I don't know how that'll turn out in the final video, but whenever that comes out, maybe a week from now, maybe two weeks from now, I don't know. But you'll keep an eye out. I did really well because we finally got to use some guns that were really good as opposed to the normal rental guns that they offer at, at Hollywood Sports Park. Hollywood Sports Park. So, yeah. I just watched Breaking Bad. I uh, watched it this morning, so I'm going to head in. I'm completely up to date. I, I watch it every Monday morning just because... I have to acquire it. I can't watch it when it comes out. You know what I mean. Um, and it just, oh my god, it's so intense. Breaking Bad is one of the best shows ever. Below Game of Thrones, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. It, this is the final season, so like stuff's finally starting to go down. It's like five seasons of payoff finally happening. But anyway, this is a 10-minute video, so I will upload this as soon as possible. And have a good day. Have an A one day.